Hi, this is Aaron Zolo with Zolotech.com and uh, today I just wanted to show you the new Zoom software and um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and open the Zoom player here. It's the Zoom 3.0 uh, with the mix view and all that and I'll show you that. So what it does is in the upper right hand corner you can see it's going to sign me in. It uses your Xbox Live account if you have one and then kind of links everything with that. Um, on your left you have your albums or your album artists rather and on the right you have all your songs. So if we go into one of these uh, albums, we can it'll just play it if you double click it. On the right you can change your song, just simply double click it, like just about anything else. Um, now I'll use Seal for this demonstration because it kind of uh, show you some of the graphic things it does. In this bottom right hand corner, you've got this little equalizer here. If you if you click on that, it'll bring you into uh, kind of like the, a visualizer. See, it kind of does a really nice um, visualization. And down at the bottom, you can see it's got like the red glow doing an equalizer. And this doesn't just show you album pictures, and it shows you the artist pictures. It also tells you how many times it's been played and, and a bunch of other things if you let it go long enough. So we'll go back here, and we'll stop that. And what you can see is in the upper right, you can sort by genre or album or songs or whatever you really want. Um, at the top, one of the coolest things is you can kind of rent your music, something everybody's been waiting for for iTunes, but um, Zune offers it. So it's $15 a month if you want to put it on a Zune. And uh, what you do is you just click Marketplace. And what this does is show you a lot of the recent artists and what they've been releasing. You can do it a couple different ways. Basically, you can go in here and just click an album or an artist. And that will bring you to their page. And then you can just play the song. It says download over here. You can click it and download the song. And then you can dump it over to your, uh, over to your Zoom. Um, go back here. And you can get any artist. You can get their bio. And it gives a long description different pictures and videos and related artists and it also shows you uh, different people that have been listening to it it's part of the social aspect of the zoom so if you click the social button at the top it'll bring you this is all my friends from xbox live if they filled out a profile or not you know it's kind of what what it's showing uh, if we go into this one It'll load, and uh, it takes a minute. There's not really a whole lot here unless you know people that have Zooms. Um, you can go to your own profile or inbox. Uh, but I've only been playing with this for a few days, so there isn't a whole lot here. Uh, if we go back to the, the marketplace, <coughs> um, in the bottom left you can see this is here all the time. But you can, if you buy the songs, you can rip them to a CD. Uh, otherwise, it's you can search just about any artist. Um, it also gives you this new thing here called channels and when you click on this it's basically like uh, here you can see the billboard chart hits if you click that this is the top 20 songs and what happens is if you subscribe to this like a podcast it will give you uh, 20 songs and fill your zoom every time they change and it will change it on your zoom every time you sync it you can go to their website and it's just got all sorts of links here the nice thing about the marketplace is it even shows you music they don't have uh, as far as related artists go. So if we go back to my collection and we'll play a song here. Um, the new mix view, if you go down here at the bottom and click mix view, it brings you this nice graphical interface. And what it does is it shows you uh, related artists. It also shows you artists that were influenced or influenced the artist you're playing. So right here is a related album from Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, this one, I don't see anything that shows influence, but a lot of the time you'll see that. And it also gives the social listener. So if I go to Stone Temple Pilots, I can click that, and it comes right up. And then it'll show me related artists. If I want to play Stone Temple Pilots, I just highlight it and click play. And I haven't downloaded any of these songs. They just, they'll play and it takes a second to load and there you go. And then here's a uh, you know, more related artist to this artist. So if I stop this and I exit and go to my profile or click exit up here, 
Um, the current artist I'm selected on, you can do a bunch of other things as well, but basically the <clears throat> you can go more about the artist you're in. Uh, there's, you know, bios and videos and and related uh, albums, also who's been listening to it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, there's podcasts, they now support uh, audiobooks on the on the uh, Zoom as well, which took a long time, but I guess for the, the age range, it's really not one of their priorities. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, there's no videos that I've found that are free. Most of them, you, you can, these are the only free ones they give you previews. But there are videos and they show you them, but you, you have to pay for them. Uh, but other than that, you just drag and drop onto your Zoom. If I had one plugged in, I could show you. But other than that, it's, it's a really nice, clean interface. And uh, on Windows, it's certainly a nice alternative to iTunes uh, or, or any other player you've used. Uh, thank you for watching, and this is Aaron Zolo, and please visit us at zolotech.com.